Alrighty guys, so welcome back to my channel today and we are doing a brand new Sims 4 renovation video today and so today is definitely going to be a really great day just because I'm excited to say that this apartment right here is for two lovely Sims that I created a couple days ago called the Jordan Household. Both Salvatore Jordan and Marlia Jordan who is his three year old toddler daughter who is in preschool right now that I'm super happy that she's in preschool because he, that now that she's at preschool Salvatore has time to finally breathe and be his own person for a couple hours each day which is awesome so either way if you guys did not watch my creative sim video that I did a couple days ago, I will leave that link down below in the description for you guys to watch to understand their backstory, who they are, what they do, and why they're in this situation in this current moment. But I will give you a bit of a summary and also kind of expand a little bit more without spoiling too, too much of who they are to, you know, give a little bit of a taste of, you know, the Salva of the Jordan household. I want to call them the Salvatore family, but that's Salvatore Jordan. That's his first, Salvatore is his first name, last name Jordan. It's weird. I know. I'm okay. Kind of, not really. But either way, a bit of a summary of this family is basically that Salvatore Jordan is currently now a single father for the past two years now with his three-year-old daughter, toddler daughter named Marlia Jordan. His wife passed away about two years ago when their daughter was one years old in a terrible car accident. Air quotes, car accident. Because we don't have cars in The Sims 4. So... Ever since that happened, he didn't really know how to handle it well. Like, he, he handled it, you know, handled all, you know, the bills and, you know, putting her to rest and stuff like that and all the legal issues that happened around that time. So when he did all that stuff, he didn't really know how to handle it afterwards, after all that happened. He went into a very dark depression where it kind of, re like... It, it made him remember all like the bad things that happened in his life because for the past seven years, he has lost so much in his life, like family members, like he has lost his long life dog, George, he, they, he passed away, and then his mom, his dad, and his sister, they're all gone. He has no relatives whatsoever in his family anymore. It's just him and his daughter, and that's it. And when his wife died, it just made him remember all the sad moments. And it's not good for him. So when did that happen? After a year later, after that year passed, he decided he talked to himself and kind of talked to his daughter while she was playing with her toys, like in the moment, like talking to yourself when no one's listening, you know, stuff like that happens to me all the time. So when he was just talking out loud, he said to himself, you know what? I'm going to sell this house, pack up all the stuff, put it in the storage and start anew and that's what he did he basically sold his family home packed up all the stuff put into storage took all the essential stuff with like the beds the microwave the coffee pot stuff like that into the apartment and he's lived in his family house a suburban house in newcrest for all his life for the past 33 years of his life he's lived there and when his parents got old he was like i'll buy the house from you we'll we'll keep the house and expand our family if we want to and then the parents like moved out moved to like a smaller house stuff like that and it was okay during that time and i have to say when he sold the house he didn't really want to but he had to because the bills were kind of expensive and with all all the bills like the mortgage you know preschool just like basically taking care of a child itself and just his himself instead like also took a lot so he was like you know we can downscale we can always buy a new house in the future if we need to and just take one step at a time there's no need to rush it's like learning to fly or falling in love basically and he was like you know what it's a, it's a good thing and so he, when he moved he was like okay new me new life new city making new friends and just trying to find a way in this world single father with a three-year-old daughter and he's still doing well he's doing all right because i played a little bit off a little bit off camera a couple days ago and i'm quite proud of how far he has gotten he's in level four of his career right now about to be promoted to level five and i really want to do a let's play with this family just because how i'm telling their story on my own free time i kind of i want to share that experience with you guys and see how well they've come like since the beginning until now and maybe one day if we ever get like 
more family oriented things i want to try and incorporate that into this family like a parenthood game pack part two you know something like that like inheritance and you know retirement homes would be really cool update on elders baby stuff like that and maybe one day if we get university i want to one day have marlita go to university or community college whichever we get and have her you know do something that she loves and pursue that dream because when marlia's mother when they when marlia's mother and father got married before she was born basically she said that i will love you to the end of time till death do us part and whenever that happens when our time ends i want you to always follow your dreams and be happy i don't want you to sit around mope around and be upset and blaming yourself for what happened to me or or anybody basically I want you to do whatever makes you happy. And honestly, I take that to heart because no one in their life wants to be sad. They want to be happy. They want to be inspired. They want to inspire other people and make sure that they're doing well for themselves each and every day. And that's what that's what his wife want him wanted him to do, to not be upset or blame himself, but be happy and inspire the people and take care of our daughter until she, you know, lives her own life when she grows up in this world and so that's what they're that's what they're doing now he salvatore is is taking one step at a time he's not the best cook he's not the best you know cleaner ever but he's he's learning how to be himself and making new friends and every like every other day like every like three days like in the middle of the week like a wednesday maybe a thursday sometimes he goes out to like the local bar to just sit there and just reflect on, on his like midweek is like what the week has happened so far and think about what he could do better how can he be a better father how can he be a better better role model for basically anyone who's looking up to him in his life it could be you know i don't know his daughter his friends some random kid down the street his neighbors who knows he i want him to basically just be that that person that people can talk to for advice and and see what they could do and i didn't want them to live in strangerville because it just didn't make any sense to live there because all the crazies and stuff that has happened there so i feel like the city was a good start to like start anew and see where life takes them and now now that it has been two years since the passing i kind of want salvatore to find love but i don't want to rush things where if i do end up making a let's play i think it will be kind of cool where salvador go goes on several dates but none of them are successful and he kind of fails at it and gets like a bronze medal and doesn't really do a good job at you know talking or and and being nervous every every time because he's an introvert like if we had a fourth trait in the sims 4 i would give him the introvert trait it's a custom trait by kawaii stacy and i would use that trait on him just because like it explains his, his his life for the past two years of being an introvert, hiding himself over, away from the world and only talking to his daughter and, you know, just just being himself, I, I guess, or not being himself. Because he used to be a very outgoing, energetic person. He's in the military career, so he always had friends around him. But the past two years, he was like, not today, not me. I don't want to do this anymore. So, yeah, that's life. But the cool part about this is when I was playing off camera, Marlia is doing so well in her potty training skill right now. And I'm so happy that she's, you know, making friends in preschool, but also like potty training herself. Because at level two, toddlers can go to potty by themselves. So I'll have her do it by herself whenever she needs to and achieve level three and be done with it. So I'm proud about that. But also the cool part about this is that whenever I do a let's play I want to add real life scenarios where it becomes not too realistic but realistic in a way like you know there's gonna be fighting involved you know there's gonna be real life things that I might say and it's I don't know I I guess however I played The Sims 2 or how I made like little machinimas in The Sims 2 and told stories in the sims 2 i kind of want to like bring that back 
to The Sims 4, like bring like bring it over to The Sims 4 and kind of still have that sense of personality and life and memories and emotions and everything. So I'll be using a lot of mods and things that I'll cut out to like to avoid controversial stuff and I don't know. I just I I don't know. I guess whenever I make a story a storyline for any family, I feel like I go too far. For some reason, I don't know why, but I feel like I do sometimes or I get to a point where it's becoming too crazy and I stop it immediately and never do it ever, ever and again. I don't know. Maybe that's what I'm thinking about with like Get Famous and also Not So Berry. And I don't know why I always do it, but it's like a thing that happens to me every single time where I make a, I make a storyline for a family, I do a let's play, and then it becomes too crazy, then I stop it, and then I bring it back at some random point in time. I don't know why I do that, but I think I'll change that where I'll go slow this time because I tend to go really, really fast with everything. So I'll go slow for a while, you know, do some little things, have some happy moments, sad moments, depressing moments, all the emotions basically go on dates, go to like play dates, you know, all the things. And as ever new content comes out or new mods come out, I'll end up using it, like go to like vacations and, you know, the beach and all, all the stuff that is family-like and, and things like that. I don't know. Anyway, but that's the spiel about this family, the whole summary, the life of the Jordan family, what's been going on for the past couple of days. And... That's pretty much it. So if you guys want to see a Let's Play for me from this family, let me know in the comments below. As always, I'll be happy to do a Let's Play, but I'll be taking it slow. Like each week I upload a new episode instead of like every other day I'll upload a new episode. So each week I'll probably upload a new episode each week to save time, effort, but also expand on the story a little bit better. So that's what I'll probably end up be doing. But that being said, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below as always. And I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye.